Welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. We're back at it. Today we're gonna make some real progress, not like last time. We're gonna make better progress today. So, so let me show you where we're at and what the plan is for today. All right, here we are. Goat shelter, stone chicken coop build. We've got our string lines put back out here because the goats tore them all down since last, uh, since last time they were up. So this will help keep us uh, fairly straight anyway. Uh, we're not too too far off. We got a little little adjustment to do right here, but uh, we're gonna bring the level up of the uh, stone wall to the top of the window frame. So we're gonna we're gonna put stone all the way up to here. So we don't have that much stone work left to do. That side's almost done. Uh, we got a little more stone work to do on this side. So we'll probably start here. One of the things I learned was uh, I start at the lowest point so that this has time to start to set up. Uh, when I put one one layer on here, by the time I get over here, finish the tops of this and, and come all the way around to this side, then I can come all the way back to here and this stuff will be set up enough where I can start to stack another course on top without the rocks falling off and things. Once we get up to that level, we're gonna put our two by four joists uh, right across here. So I've got a bunch of eight foot treated two by fours. We'll run a bunch of joists across. Uh, we're gonna run them from the narrowest side. So I think it's about six feet. And then they're gonna overhang uh, out on this side a little bit where we'll have a little little deck for the chickens to, uh, to be on. So the plan today is to get as much, well, I really need to get all of the stone work done uh, today. Uh, the tricky part is gonna be, I'm not sure how I'm gonna make the transition from stone to wood yet because there'll be a wood chicken coop walls built on top of, the, of this. I do have uh, plywood flooring to put on top of this and I do have some type of roll out cheap linoleum stuff that I'm gonna put on here as well. So I hope I can get all of that done today. Got an early start today, so let's get right to it and start laying some stone.
All right, here we are. All the joists are in. The overhang, I think, is going to be about the perfect distance. It's about 18 inches or, or so sticking off the edge there. So I had a few decisions to make, and I think I, I hope I made the right one. <laughs> I was going to, uh, I'm going to put the plywood on here. It's going to sit on the inside of the stone. So there, there even could be a, you know, some little gaps along the edge. That's fine. And then my actual little wall that I'm going to build, about a two foot wall, 18 inch wall, is going to sit right on top of these stones. So I'm trying to distribute all the weight to the, the stone wall instead of on the joist. All that's going to be in here is going to be just a cheap plywood that will hold chickens. So two by four should be plenty. So I could have just laid the uh, two by four right on this wood and screwed it to the wood. But instead what I'm going to do, I've got a bunch of extra mortar. And so I'm going to fill in this gap here with stone. It looks like I forgot, but I'm going to just pile mortar all the way along this, uh, this spot here. And I'm going to level out a, uh, a treated two by four all the way down the edge. That'll be the bottom of my wall. And then we'll do the same right along the back, right on the top of these stones. I'll just pile mortar along there and just level a, a two by four flat. So that should give me a nice straight shot on a two by four straight down the, the edges here. Everything turned out pretty good as far as level goes. It wasn't easy because as you put more stones in, things shift and move around a little bit, but I think I was able to, to get it pretty straight and everything is pretty level. Um, the distance between the joists is not exactly the same. <laughs> so about 15 inches for these ones. This one's about 20 inches. These, that one's 19 inches. This one's 16, just depending on where the two by four is laid in, in the stone you know, where, where there was a flat spot to put it. So, so that's what I have left and I've got a, another bag and a half if I need it, but let's get this mortar piled on here and get some two by four set in place.
all of the stonework is done. Put the mortar away, I put the cement mixer away. So done with that part. So the, the walls will, will be here, the nesting box. I have a really cool nesting box coming that's gonna come off the back here. Uh, then, because this is the, the shortest side of the coop because it's uphill, so the kids can actually reach this side. It's probably only three feet tall back here. And the wall on the side here will have a little a little uh, door that, that the chickens can come out, a little automatic door. And this will be decking on the, on the side here. And the roof pitch I'm hoping to keep pretty steep, but I'd like to have the roof actually come down and overhang the little deck and the door. And then we'll put a little chicken ladder off the back side of it here. It's going to have to be tricky because uh, it needs to be goat proof, <laughs> but chicken friendly. So we'll, we'll figure that out because I don't want the goats getting up there. And then on the far side of it, we'll have a big opening where you could actually get into it if you needed to get into it to get a chicken or catch something or clean something out or whatever. Uh, but then there'll be a clean out uh, tray, not tray, but little gap at the bottom there so you can reach in here with a, with a rake or something, I'll make something and just drag the, the wood shavings out or even open the nesting box up this side and push the stuff you know, all out the other end and then just clean it up. So I can't put the linoleum on today. I'm actually gonna wait um, a day or two. I don't wanna climb on this thing yet because the mortar's not set and I don't want the joist to, to dig into the, to the mortar or anything like that. I don't wanna get up here and just wiggle stuff around. And I'll bet linoleum, I'm gonna use construction adhesive and, and I'm gonna smear it all over this whole thing and then roll that linoleum out. It's one sheet of linoleum and uh, I think you call it linoleum. I don't know what it's, vinyl flooring maybe, vinyl something. Cheap stuff, it was 20 bucks. <laughs> so uh, that'll roll out on here and that'll be, be an easy to clean, you know, waterproof uh, surface for this. And, uh, and that'll be perfect for these chickens. So throw wood shavings in there, uh, they can mess all in, all in it and stuff will just sweep right out. Uh, it, it's gonna work great. It worked great in our old suburban coop and, uh, and it's gonna work perfectly here. I had to get the stonework done today. Today was my, my last chance. It's gonna get down into the 20s tonight. <laughs> and so I gotta clean up all these hoses and put all the water away um, before all that stuff freezes up. And so uh, I had to get all that stuff done uh, before before that came. So we're done with all the motor work. We're done with all the stone work. I can put all those things away. I'm so, so happy. And uh, this, the rest of this will go very quickly. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying this series. It has been a long running one, but uh, certainly a lot of fun. And we're to a really exciting point now. We're, uh, we're kind of at the, the, the pinnacle of this build. And from here on out, it's gonna go a lot quicker. So stick around, uh, probably the next couple weeks, we'll be, we'll be keeping this up. I gotta get these chickens in here before winter sets in. So stick around for more videos on the chicken coop goat shelter build. And uh, let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to hit thumbs up on the video. And as always guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.